Today, it's Oberon and Neptune continue to rant about Endgame while playing uh, Torch Light 2. Oh man, I can I, I can literally rant about Endgame for quite some time. I will ruin people's day over it. Well, longer than the movie itself? Nope, nothing set. Nope, not, not possible. Not possible. Yeah, yeah that's, uh, that's the problem right there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So, I know I still have the opinion that it should have been two movies and they should have done better on both parts of it. But... Oops, I didn't mean to go in here. Oh, where did you go? The Forsaken Vaults? Yep. I'm, a, I'm coming back up. Alright, I'll wait here for you. I will I'm, I'm just trying to find way. the Ozian Ways. So I really don't know where it is around the edge of this map. Okay, so yeah, speaking of map, uh, Rocket Raccoon goes, okay, the, the, the stones were used two days ago right here i'm like that was really quick yeah like that was really like why didn't you go into that would have been really interesting if he goes oh the reason i know like this is because someone could sense it hey can you sense it anywhere else yeah you know like have a mantis i don't know mantis could have done it right Wait, it was dead mantis oh. was dead oh that's right never mind i take it back yeah, no, she was one. Of, I mean, that would have been a good one, you know. Maybe give her use, maybe not poof her in the other movie, right? And that's not it. Yeah, she. Uh... Whoops. Well, we killed some dudes. Yeah, like why are you following me? <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Right here, future me. Here is perfect. Okay. So that was fun. Let's never yeah. speak of it again. Yeah. <laughs> like Endgame. No, I want to talk about it again. No, no, we're done. It's over. Endgame. No, happened. it's End it's not. No, I it, look, it took so much of my life for me that I need to take a little bit of everyone else's from theirs. Ah, yes, this pleases yeah. it balance. I uh, yeah. So I thought of another reason it sucked. Okay. And please please correct me if I'm wrong. Don't worry, I will. Uh, so, everyone... Oh, there's a golden star up here. Two of them. Okay, so, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Yep. But, the... Uh, so, both Bruce Banner, right? Bruce Banner said it didn't matter if we went back in time, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. he did. And then Time Lady, time lady said... Uh, time Monk Lady, she said... They said? We're going to go with they. Tell us one. Yeah. Uh, they said, um, if you take the time stone from here, you'll get multiple timelines. Right? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> so, who's right? Because hmm. clearly it does matter. Whatever you do back, you, when you go back in time matters. I, I, think, I think what it is is... Going back and changing things back in time does not matter to them. But if you make another timeline, there's a whole nother group of people that it now matters to, which is not you. Okay, so like it only matters if you remove the time stone? Yeah, yeah, if you remove the regulator. Wait, it's still a bad explanation, but... yeah. But that, but, but like that specifically makes the time monk stupid, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, like okay, because I was gonna say either it does or it doesn't. And if you take the stones anywhere, right? It doesn't. It doesn't matter. It yeah. just doesn't matter because it doesn't matter if you go back in time. Yeah. But because the the the, the appeal of time travel is. You know, messing things up. Marty McFly almost fading from the from the from the uh, universe. Yeah, from the universe, right? But in in this, they specifically said we're not doing that. Yeah, and then kind of did it anyway. Decided, ah, eh, yeah, we are. Yeah, and at the, and and at the same time, um, it's not. Again, because Nebula shot herself? Yeah. And I was so confused. Like, the thing about time travel is that you say it's confusing. 
but since your audience is us, you you don't you. It's just a simple thing. Like, oh, they, they changed that. That makes sense. That means that would never happen. Yeah, like, oh, I will say this: a lot of the confusion problem is not helped by their strategy of not explaining anything like there are simple explanations that make a lot of this work and you can assume they are correct however i have to make it an assumption and if you didn't explain that means well i could be wrong but if i'm wrong then you're stupid right yeah like i i can't keep guessing about your world i i am not um uh, one of those um one of those guileless nerds that knows everything about um everything about the Marvel Universe before I sit down. Yeah, well, and also you can't assume that everything you know is going to be the same with the Marvel movie yeah, universe. I, I wouldn't, actually. That is not the assumption you're going to want to make because they have changed a lot of things. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty... Yeah, because this is obviously one of those alternate timelines where they win. Yeah. and But, I mean, my big issue here is they're just... Like, the Captain America thing. It's assumed that he went to the time when... The alternate timeline when Peggy Carter was alive. You know, yeah, went, went down back his to days. see her at her job at NASA, yeah. But then he has to jump back to this timeline once he's old and gray and she's dead, and they never show that. Otherwise, this shit doesn't work. Because then you've definitely changed the entire past because somebody has experienced it. Yeah, and I mean that means he died, right? Because he he, he weeping angeled himself. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or so he's dead now. Or he's jumping he's back dead. and forth with reckless abandon after things are finished. Those are your options, but you never say it, so I can't assume any of that's even right. So, the only thing I've got to go on is, uh, you don't know how time travel works, Marvel. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only... Like, DBZ time travel. Okay. But not DBZ time travel. What? Well, then it's... Then it's back to the future time travel. But no. What? Well, no, it's not. It's, it seems to be... Oh, here. I, someone told them time travel was relative. Ah. Like, uh... Marty McFly's experience of events changed slowly around him, right? Yeah. His experience wasn't the same as Biff's when he went through time. Yeah. But then as a consequence, Biff, old Biff faded from existence once he went back to the right timeline. And, and time sort of took a little time to heal, right? It wasn't yeah. immediate. But that was you more... realize what's happening. That was more for narrative convenience than anything. That's a giant plot hole, honestly. I, I felt it was nice, because, like, why would I assume time to change where I couldn't notice it? Because time, even time would have to take time. Yeah. Or right. you couldn't say it was even there. Anyway, but um, it, it, what I wanted to say about that movie right there is that everyone's experience was different. Yeah. In a, in, in a, in a, in a meaningful way that you could tie directly to time travel. Uh, Marvel heard that, and they're like, oh, everyone's experience is different, so nothing matters. We will just have everyone do a different thing. Yeah. It... But they got it, you know, wrong as time travel. Like, everyone time traveled differently. Yeah. Don't, uh... In the end, if you want to have a serious movie like that should have been, don't have a time travel plot. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. If you want to have a fun, campy movie, great. Time travel's oh. on the table. You could have had a time travel movie. Yeah. Yeah, you just have a, an accident with the time stone. You have the MacGuffin this whole thing is built around. Yep. Do the thing it does and scatter everyone in time. And then everyone gets back because, you know, Hulk finds Ant-Man's time machine because he got sent back to five years ago. Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, and, and that fixes yeah, that, doesn't it? Yeah. I just thought, I mean, I didn't even think of that. I was just like, how, oh, there's a time machine five years ago? Well, we got to use that. So one of them goes back there, and then Hulk can turn it on. So Hulk does that. Freeze and then he has to fight Ragey himself. Because <laughs> old him would just assume, that's a fake Hulk. I'm going to smash it. And then he has to fight himself. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's great. 
then you get a and Hulk then you can versus contrast Hulk. that with the Cappy fight later. Oh, whoa! Hey, are you are you talking about no. like making movies? Narrative tropes that echo back on each other. Yeah. To, to, Funny. To, no. Yeah. It's almost like the director said, "No, we have two of that. Cut one of them." Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like the director said, "No, we have two movies. Cut one of them." Yeah. Like, this is another one that's going to bug me for what it could have been. Um, like, I... I that. that usually does not bother me, but... Sometimes, in certain movies, it's... Like, when what could have been far outweighs what was... It is just so distracting. Because then I just find all my rumination about any given movie that's like that being, well, yeah, but here's what it could have been. Oh, yeah, I'm so distracted by, like, trying to follow... No, no, what, what no. Uh, back right there. Sorry, a bunch of dudes showed up, and then I forgot what words are. Oh, no, that's um, the worst. And these are poison yeah. dudes, so they'll do that to you. Yeah, what it, what it could have been. That's that's kind of why I couldn't really pay much attention to the, the final third of that movie was, I'm like, I don't know why any of this is here anymore. Yeah, it's supposed that final couldn't third is the, the punchy camp fest. Like, it's where you get everything you want, and there's not really a lot of substance. It's just a lot of flash. Yeah. But you, you, you give me, essentially, a comic book. Yeah, and that's great, but you don't do that when when you're having to ha when you're having a serious discussion about drama which is a lot of the character arcs yeah they're all dealing with <laughs> death like the <laughs> death and uh, trauma okay. and it's shit. it's it's such a serious uh emotional uh, thing that everyone is going through, but then you have this weird, campy time travel plot and weird, campy punch-up at the end. Usually they are very good at blending their comedy with their, uh... Uh... Com oh, or, yeah, with it, their it, it took such a seriousness. serious left turn at the end of the movie, but, like, in the opposite direction. It didn't veer into something tragic and awful. It was just tragic and awful, and then... Hey, everyone's back! What? Oh, I died. Wow. I died. Wow. Oh, yeah, no, we got, we got wrecked. We... we got wrecked. <laughs> and there's a lot of good shit over there. Oh my god, he's, he's coming for us again. It's... it's this enemy type is fucking rough. The rare gold dragon. Gee, I wonder why. Cause he's fucking burning the nades, shit. Damn. Fuck off, gold dragon. All right. Woo. All right, dragons. All right. Oof. Who put dragons in my dungeons and dra? Oh, right. Right. <laughs> no, that that felt cool. I, I I gotta say, dragons are cool. Like, oh, what do we get off by? Oh, okay, the <laughs> rare gold dragon. And it yep. looks like from this there was two of them because I'm having two dragons worth of loot here. Yep. Yeah, we did. That was it. Woo. I like that he just, like, ran back to the entrance where I appeared as soon as I spawned. He was like, nope, I'm not done yet. Coming for you. All right, hang on a second. I gotta load up my pet. All right. We'll, uh... I... We'll have no, a... why can't I pick this up, then? No, I got it. Never mind. Okay. All right. Gonna have to do that soon, though. Yeah, well... I mean... We're uh, we're getting close here, friend. I don't I don't know if you can hear what I can hear, but what was that? We're almost at next time. Just gotta crush a roach. <laughs> there we are. So next time, but over on an empty beat up the planet, we'll rant more while murdering things. The wind howled at the washboard, sleeping underneath the moon. Our plan was hatched in a briar patch where lovers should gamble soon. Their lips stained with violet, their tongues tied into knots. Till the lummy 
fans, their secrets, but we found. 